Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover how to install uh, ARP extended studs on a 2005 GTO. Um, I'm going to do two methods. I'm going to take the hub off. Oh, this one's already off, obviously. I'm going to take the hub off in the front and press them out, press the old ones out, press the new ones in with a hydraulic press. And then I'm also going to show how to hammer out the ones in the rear and then pull new ones in using a junk lug with some greased up washers cranking on it and cranking on it until it pulls it tight so this is the part number for the rears and then this is the part number for the fronts it's for a Lancer Evo 8 I guess so I already kind of messed this one up both hammering these out and trying to install the new ones where I just took two washers and greased them up real good and then screwed it on like this with the flat end against the hub to draw the studs in from the back that's fine so it's going to screw them on until all the threads are covered with the thing and whack it out All right. I need you still to come back. Some grease here. Really messes with the washer, and I don't have any other ones for some reason. So hopefully, this isn't going to be too bad. Yeah. I mean, kind of what I'm hoping for here is that everything's going to be so greased up that it'll work pretty smoothly. Nineteen millimeter, of course. Okay. To stop this from turning, I was putting this hammer. Right there. Uh, that hammer went. Not the best way to do it, probably, but it worked over there. Okay. So that's pretty much it. See that it's drawn all the way in there tight, so. Okay. These are all done. I would much rather use a press to be honest, but couldn't be helped. Okay, these are a 10 millimeter Allen screw. There's one here, one there, and then I believe there's one uh, somewhere over here, right there. So, they're not such a problem, but once you get those out, this that's the seam right there it's really hard to get out of the knuckle so um let's just see how this is going to go So 
this socket, the end of it is kind of stuck behind this bolt. So if you're not careful, the screw will just start backing that right into that bolt and get it stuck. So you kind of have to push it that way until it clears that. And now that ought to come out the rest of the way, no problem. Okay, I got those three bolts out, so now let's see about separating this hub from the knuckle. No idea what that's going to be like, frankly. So we kind of have these slots here. There's another one there that looks like we can maybe start hammering a screwdriver or something into it. Probably not the way to do it, but I don't know. We'll uh, just see how it goes. Maybe if I just take it little by little, it won't be so bad. Alright, before I get too far, I need to unplug this uh, sensor for the ABS. I think that's what it's for. Let me get a screwdriver and hope this thing doesn't fall out. There's the hub. Well, that wasn't even that bad. So, alrighty. That's that. Alrighty. sore from cranking on this thing. That is just such a chore. That's convenient. That's good. Let's see. I guess that low t locating dowel goes there. Don't forget the ABS connection. All right, here we have, I'm pretty sure these are the hub to knuckle Allen bolts, which we will torque these to 80 foot pounds.
I thought that this was one of those so many foot pounds, so many degrees of rotation type things, but apparently I misremembered. So 80 foot pounds it is. I should have got the air ratchet, but I didn't. Turn the wheel the other direction. So that's, uh, that's how I prefer to do the studs on the front using hydraulic press. <laughs> 